Hi bros, in today's video how to install Pilatus mid-drive adapter for Xiaomi M355. Actually sponsor of this video is this fluffy foxy, so you got files for free, you can easily download and print it. I spent lots of time designing it, so I hope you will enjoy this project. This is first release, early alpha version, so you can face some issues. Please report it back to me, I will make some upgrades and I will release newer versions in the future. So, let's start it. Mid-drive design is decent because you can much easier modify the two most important factors, speed and torque. The cheapest way to achieve it is to change pulley ratio between motor and wheel. Like, for better max speed you can just install smaller pulley on the wheel and bigger on the motor, while to achieve greater acceleration install bigger pulley on the wheel and smaller on the motor. Next one is lower weight and no gyroscope effect because mid-drives are worse smaller than halves. Pulley we have to press inside like this okay it's clicked and it's nearly done now we have to lock it by using those small adapters of course i did my job and as you can see you don't have to remove the disc brake to install this adapter easy now this long m4 screw now for more Check this beauty, it looks awesome, isn't it? It's designed like battleship, so I hope it will handle at least 2000 watts, but we will see. Those are widely used in electric cables where people are using big power, big motors, so 3D printed pulley is nothing new. So what could go wrong? Actually, the filament, as you can imagine, is not as strong like aluminum part, so it can wear pretty fast if there will be lots of dust and sand. It can break at some point and of course temperature will kill it because there will be huge friction between the belt and this 3D printed part. So we will see how much it will handle. If you will use something like nylon then it can handle much more. But in this case I will use this strong PLA and we will see. Of course, this big plate is the weakest point of this mid drive. It's 3D printed, so as you can imagine, it's very flexible, nothing new. Yes, it can be made with alloy steel, then it will be super rigid, but this is not the point of this project, which have to be super easy and cheap to make. Maybe not for me as a designer, but I designed that kind of reinforcer, which we are installing over here, and this part is reinforcing this big plate. It's early alpha version because I would love to learn in this case how much this part will bend at what power. It will help me to design something more efficient. So I could design some big brick which will not move at all, but I would love to do it as best as possible. So in this case, it's so short because I would love to check how much it will bend. I guess at 500 watt it will be okay, but at 1000 watt it could be a little bit too much. In next beta version, this reinforcer will be much higher, so even at 2000 watt, this part shouldn't bend too much. Of course, this part will be designed very well, you can expect some extra adapters like rear fender, place for extra lights and other stuff. Now it's much better. Nice. I decided to use this widely available HDD 5M belt, size 445. I had exactly the same in my 10,000 watts skateboard, so it was like 5,000 watts per motor, and this, exactly this one didn't break, so it can handle a lot. 15 mm wide, so no surprise. This is OP for this project. Actually, this one could be a problematic because if the motor 
mount will bend a little bit, then the belt can touch the tire or the frame, but I would love to test it in a way. If there will be too big problems, I will change it to 10 mm wide, so it will be a little bit smaller, but still it should handle at least 2000 watt. The only thing which can really kill that kind of belt are that kind of cuts. This one is not deep, but if you will see something deeper, then change the belt. Otherwise, it will be ripped off, especially at the higher power. I noticed that my rim isn't straight, so it will be like extra fun to test this thing. To hold the motor we've got four screws, which will do the job, but the con is that mid-drive motors are getting too hot too fast, and filaments, like in this case PLA or even ABS, don't like higher temperatures. They will start to deform and bend, so in alpha version we'll see how much we can push PLA until it will bend too much. In beta version I will add some kind of insulator like aluminium sheet to prevent heat from reaching this part. So as you can see alpha version is so decent because we can learn so much even if I got some experience in design then I cannot wait to test it. Motor pulley has to be at least aluminium like in this case. Don't go with any plastic, it will break. There are too big forces for that kind of small object. Number of teeth go with 15, this is the best way to go, because there is really small chance that the belt will slip over that kind of pulley and you will still achieve decent ratio, so over here we've got 15 teeth and here is 56, so we've got extra torque. On the right we've got 13 teeth, so as you can see it's a little bit smaller, but the belt can much easier slip over that kind of pulley and actually I noticed that it's bending too much, so go with 15. Also, last thing is that, as you can see on the left, we've got this extra wall on the pulley. And because of it, it's only one and a half millimeter longer and it will not fit, it will scratch the tire. Go with something like this, all links in the description, so as you can tell. Everything in this project is quite precise, I put lots of effort in time, so I hope you will enjoy it. What I meant, here we got this thicker side and... Not good. If you will get thin one, we got nice gap over here and huge gap between the tire and belt, so no problem over here. Yes, this one will fit but still go with thin one because it will be shorter and if this thing will bend then it will not touch the tire. Before you install pulley, do something like this with belt. We need small gap between the pulley and the printed part. Then belt is going at first around small pulley, like this. After it, around big pulley, like this, and we are on. Then tighten the motor. It looks like we are ready for some tests. Everything seems to fit just perfect. Yes, belt drives are more noisy than hubs, no surprise. Let's check if belt can skip. So far so good. If there will be any problems with belt which is skipping the steps, then over here you got this special hole where we can mount belt tensioner. So it's more or less prepared for future upgrades. Testing time. I went with classic set. So stock Xiaomi battery 36 volts, Philips Sky 75 100 anti-spark and with RC remote, that will be fun. Let's remove all those wires from moving parts. First try. This is max speed right now on 
10S battery, so 36 volts, but the slip sky can go up to 67 volts, which is crazy, but I made that kind of battery. This is 13S, it will feel whole deck inside. So we can expect that with this one, we can achieve 30% higher speed. So let's check it. This is some good stuff, bros, isn't it? And this is just 13S on 16S, it will be crazy. So bros, in next episode we'll do real life tests, because so far I've got only frame and rear wheel, which seems to be not enough, but this is not a big deal, because right now spare parts for Xiaomi are available everywhere. So in next episode we'll test. Let's finish this video with something extra. I'm pretty sure you want to see some higher voltage, like maybe 60 volts, or even some flying parts because of it. So let's try it. Here is my power supply, it's not very powerful, but let's try it anyway. So let's crank up amperage to max at first. And then the voltage, let's go max, it will be like 60, I guess. Yep, now let's turn on VC. And let's slowly add full throttle, so it will be max rotation speed at 60 volt. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one, bros.